Oh my god, I've seen it! So there is a time in Mali that Ghana must definitely go and was killed during a coup d'etat by a Belgian partisan. The main purpose that we came here for, we've got it. We just wanted to find out if there is a time in Mali that Ghana must go home. This is so cool. Africa, full of food, but they always say we are hungry, but look at food. All right, my beautiful people, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, I'm coming at you straight from Mali and we are in downtown Bamako. So yeah. This is a market square, I believe so. Uh, national park. Yes, oh, national no park. If you find me in my, my city, they call you. Okay, help me. So this is my outfit of the day. I hope you guys can see. Here, the sun is extremely hot. So I always need to cover myself. I still have my hat. When it gets too scotchy, I cover up myself. So you can see, it's just like a normal street. We are getting to the market square. I don't know why this place isn't that busy. Maybe they have a particular day for market days. I believe so. Basically, this is how the place looks. So I'm on my way to the museum. This is me living alone in Mali and walking on the streets of Mali, downtown Mali. It's from Mache. I believe so. Where are we going? No, you, you take uh, artisanal. No? Uh huh. You go, go, go artisanal. Yes. Okay. But I want to enter the market. Do you find me artisanal my mm -hmm. market? Finish, yes. no? Okay. Okay. Artisans as well. Well, So you know, I believe in every African country. There's always a time that. Kana must go. I believe so. So I'll be looking around if I can get a Ghana must go here in Mali, Bamako, downtown Bamako. Yeah. So come along with me. Let's try and see if we can get a Ghana must go bag. I don't know if you can find some. Look at how the place looks. The building. Downtown Bamako. It's a grand market. Grand market. Wait. Ah. Okay, so this is still Grand Market. Anyway, this market is so big. I was at the at the other side at that time. That place was a bit calm. Yeah, but they said this is still Grand Market. So yeah, then let's get going. Today is not busy. I believe today is not a market day. Because the first time I was here, it was extremely busy. Me, my problem here is that those people don't understand English. And I can't also speak French or Bambara. So I don't know how I'll be asking them for the Ghana must go. Oh God. I'll just be looking on the streets. If I find one, then that is it. But if I don't find it, yeah, then we go. But so far, if you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Yeah, yeah. So this is the grand market, the central market here in Bamako, basically downtown 
Papa Marco. Yeah, I love Bamako, but oh my goodness. Always, this place gives me a Kaneshi vibe. This place, like this area, it always gives me a kind of like a Kaneshi vibe. Yeah. No, say. Grand Mosque. Grand Mosque. Mosque. On your go. Mosque. Uh huh. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> so. Oh, yeah, I don't have. It's like. I'm not seeing any Galamas go by the roadside here. Okay. So that means in Mali, there is not a time that Ghana must leave their country. <laughs> so those who don't know about Ghana must go, when you read about the history of Nigeria in the 80s, you type Ghana must go. <laughs> yeah, in the 80s, the time came in Nigeria that they were asking all Ghanaians to leave and they all resorted to a particular sack that they packed their things inside. And because of its viability, they packed their things inside and off they left Nigeria to their country. I can't tell you the full story now, but yeah, that is where Masgo came from. Yeah, so if you want... Oh my God, I've seen it! Hey, there's Ghana Masgo in Mali. Hey, shh! Huh? I want to buy that thing. Wow, you guys, so there is a time in Mali that Ghana must definitely go. I told you there's no African country, there is not any African country that Ghana must not go. Look at this, I found it here, Ghana must go. Hey, how much? Uh, Milk Milk Small one. Female. Petite. Oh. Uh, same Oh. Uh, 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 this is the only oh, yeah, yeah. petit. Where is it? No. No. Ah. Huh? No. 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 Set. You give me? Okay. <laughs> you guys, I told you. <laughs> you find a. Uh, I told you that there's always a time in an African country oh, that Ghana must go. Yeah. Eh. My bag, how can it be? Baby, it's just me. All right. We've got it. Oh, my goodness. I told you, in every African country, I've not been to uh, many countries, I've been to Nigeria, and I'm now in Mali, so I know, now I know, in two countries, you always can find Ghana must go. I know they have it in Kenya too. Yeah, so, like I told you, there's never a country in Africa that there is no Ghana must go. There's always a time that Ghana must go home. Yeah, all right, so, if you are enjoying the video so far, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe. So like, yeah. here I am living alone in Mali and walking on the streets of downtown Mali in the big market. No, I'm
Dabanani. Eh? Dabanani. Dabanani. So this is the streets of Dabanani in Mali Bamako, also called the Grand Market or the Central Market or the Pink Market. This side of the market is an open air market kind of. So the other side that we went to, the last time that video is here, that side is the market. The main purpose that we came here for, we got it. We just wanted to find out if there is a time in Mali that Ghana must go home. And we've actually found it. And let me walk you to the market square. You You've saw, seen another. Uh, 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 uh huh. So saw, uh, this is the mosque. Wait, the grand mosque. Ah, okay. So I would like to show you the grand mosque uh, artisana, here. You go artisana, you go, uh, I'll grand go mosque. to the grand mosque. Uh, no, no. So I want to walk you uh, to the grand mosque here in Mali. So anytime you are in Mali and you want to visit the grand mosque. You said it's got that the ban no, no, no. Uh, 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 the name da banani. no da banani so the oh. grand mosque of mali is in da banani in mali bamako inside the grand market so that's the uh, artisan market. Right. So grand uh, grand mosque. So here we are entering the artisan market by grand mosque. 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 Uh huh. Mosque. 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 Mm -hmm. Take me to the mosque, please. Okay. Okay. All right. So I want to show you the mosque. I've already shown you the artisan markets, and this is the artisan market. I've been here once already, and that video too. I will put it here for you guys to see. And these are the things that you see in the artisan markets. Wow. I hope you guys can see talent displaying itself here in the artisan market. But I want us to go to the Grand Mosque here in downtown Mali, Bamako. Living alone in Mali and walking in downtown uh, Daddy Danlo. Oh, hey, are they done? Oh, the name. The name. The name. No, 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 that I Ah, Okay, you go. No, let me go to the most then go. No, who is it? Take me to the most. No, 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 no. You no go. No go. I go. I go to the most. Okay. Go on tomorrow. Okay. okay, thank you. So you call me Ghana, you call me. Okay, okay, bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Oh, today I don't have money on my good friends. Today, I don't have money. So guys, this is the Grand Mosque. This is where you find the Grand Mosque here in Mali. I don't know if I'll be allowed inside, but this is how it looks like. It is a big mosque here. Wow.
Alright, so this is where the Grand Mosque is. As you can see, people are praying. It's prayer time, it's 12 o'clock. So, I just wanted to show you where the Grand Mosque is. So, I'm leaving. Yeah. They are praying. It's prayer time. So, it's not allowed to uh, video. But I just wanted to walk you guys through the Grand Mosque of Mali, Bamako. Yeah, so um, if you like the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. Those who are Muslims, you have seen me. I've shown you the Grand uh, Mosque here in Bamako, Mali. As you can see behind me. And this is the other uh, side of the market. Walking alone in downtown Mali, Bamako in Dabanani. I hope I'm mentioning the name right. Dabanani. And then we also were, were able to find uh, the Ghana must go here. Sack here in the banani uh the great market in mali so here you can see they are selling onions those are onions markets here in mali so it's time a lot of the people here are running to the mosque to pray so if you enjoy my video kindly give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and then you know leave your beautiful beautiful comments under my video all right guys oh my goodness dawa dawa can you see that oh my goodness wow lots of fish here wow wow this is so cool africa full of food but they always say we are hungry but look at food one thing about this place is that food is not expensive at all food is very 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 cheap Food here is cheap. Food is the cheapest. But I don't want to jinx it, baby. Let's not get ahead of my time. Oh, but I don't want to. It's hot. What's that in? Okay, this one. Say. Okay, give me one. Oh, I've been, I've been seeing this all. Ah. Where am I going? If this video is good, give it a thumbs up. I'll be trying to give you a better video. You know, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come on this very channel. Okay? Yeah, let's buy some popo. Eh? Huh? No, 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 It's bitter sweet. It's sweet and it's bitter. This is how I'm dressing here. Because of the sun. Mm, it has a very big seed in it. Mm. I did not even wash it though. Hey, we are 
what I've seen you so. Downtown. Welcome to downtown Mali Bamako. Oh no 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 no. The sun, you guys. People at the time I was coming had gone to pray, so that was why the place was uh, less crowded. Oh, oh, in fact, okay. huh? let me pass here. Let me pass here. But I don't wanna jinx it, baby. Let's not Those people, when they see the camera, they are so angry with themselves, man. Guys, can see the police all around here. But I've seen something like a park here, and I want to show it to you guys. Bonsoir. Ça c'est quoi? Oh, Patrice Lumumba, you guys. This is the monument of Patrice Lumumba. All right, guys. So for those of you who don't know, Patrice Lumumba was the first prime minister. For the Democratic Republic of Congo. He played an important role for Congo to gain independence from the Belgians. He became the Prime Minister in June 1960 and was killed during a coup d'etat by a Belgian partisan when he was en route to the state of Katanga under the authority of Joseph Mobutu. He is considered one of the martyrs of the Pan African movement. Okay, so now the question I'm asking is why has the narrative been the same in every African country? Why is it that any leader who stands for the good of Africa is eliminated? The good ones are hated and the bad ones are loved. Why is it always so? Drop a comment and let me know. I just want to be showing you every beautiful thing here in Mali. How are you? You speak English? Do you speak English? No English? <laughs> you can't speak English. Alright guys. Yeah. Mali. I think Mali is a lover of uh, all African countries because everywhere you go, you find at least uh, one African country is playing like a very important personality of that country. Like I've seen Ghana and I was, right now I'm seeing uh, Patrice Lumumba. But when I went to Africa, all the African countries, yeah, founders were there. I found them there. So yeah, Mali is a lovely country. They are hospitable. And yeah, that is it. I still end my video here. I'm going to the museum. So you guys, I'll see you right in the museum in my next video up here.